In the last video, I was able to achieve 10,000 League Points. In this video, I'm going to focus on trying to get as many points as I possibly can so I can unlock the final Relic slot and also try to shoot for a way better high score rank. It's got a Dragon Plate Skirt drop. I wonder if it's a task to equip one. It is. Equip some Dragon Plate Skirts. 50 points. I'll take that. Revs is going pretty well. I've hit 57 Slayer just killing these on task and I've gotten 5 mil cash sack. Play 250 creatures at 25 points. All right, I just finished chop 75 magical logs. It was a sick task to do. I got a lot of editing done with that. And now I have to figure out what I'm gonna AFK on now. All right, I'm currently doing rogues down right now because I want to get the rogues outfit. It gets you double loot when you pickpocket, uh, in particular master farmers. And I also get quadruple loot because I have the fragments unlocked. So I will get a ridiculous amount of herb seeds from them. And I want to pickpocket Irid Seeds because I'm 44 Herblore. I should be able to make some Protect Potions and just farm them because I could buy Eyes and Newton from the shop. And that will be a ridiculously fast way of training Herblore. I can then take all the other seeds and complete a bunch of farming tasks. As you can see, I have 82 farming. And there's a bunch of tasks for planting random stuff. So it's just a very uh, good thing to do. The Rogue's Office is kind of unnecessary to do it, but I really want to do it anyway. So I might as well do it now. All right, Rose Alpha complete. That honestly did not take that much time. Let me go ahead and equip this, and that should be 50 points. And now I could go thieve some stuff for double loot. Well, quadruple loot. A pickpocket a Renara seed from a Master Farmer. That was pretty quick. 25 points. Fill a bucket with Super Compost. I had no idea this was a task. I was just doing it regularly. 25 points. All right, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim my mining up with smithing. So I have this relic that is called Molten Miner. It pretty much submits when I mine, which is kind of OP. I have that with triple resources and I have half of auto bank. I can't have the full auto bank. I don't have enough slots. So this will be a good way to get my mining level up because I want to be able to boost for rune rocks because that gives a lot of points. And I also get a lot of smithing XP from all the bars I auto smith. So it's a pretty good deal. And there's a lot of tasks locked behind those skills. I just got a clue geode while mining 25 points. Okay, so I think the goal is to get 78 mining because that lets me boost to 85 with the plus 8. And I think I'm going to mine iron ore all the way up until then. But I think I still need to make a detour. There's a task to do 75, I think, uh, adamant ore mines, which will be pretty fast. It's only 25 mines with the uh, triple harvester or triple gatherer relic. There's also a task to get 1,000 mental dart tips. And with the relics, it only takes 33 mental ore to get all the bars you need. So it's pretty fast and worthwhile. Mine 50 adamant ore. Thank God that worked. I was worried that was not going to work because I was auto smithing, but I did 50 points, 10,325. All right, I just hit 78 mining, which means I have all the levels I need from here because I could boost to 85. I could do the task right now, but I really want to do a fire cape for some reason. I'm going to go get that knocked out, so I'm going to do that next. All right, I have no idea if I could do this or not, but it's a task to do Jad under 35 minutes. I have 93 range, and I have the tier 2 thrall uh, relic with thralls. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I have no problems listening to it. Like, I legit could close my eyes and know what's happening. Lied. I lied. I just died. Oh my god. That's the first time I've ever died of a, a fight caves, by the way. Like, other than like when I was like a kid. Alright, that's fight caves done, bro. 46 minutes. I actually have pretty decent time, even though I wasn't really trying the second time. I'm gonna go ahead and equip the cape. That should be a task. 125 points. 10,500 now. And now I get to unlock that new city. I'm taking my 8 mil starting cash and buying a bunch of chaos runes and I'm going to spend this all on Tokul and the Tazar items that unlock points. Alright, my hand hurts significantly right now. I have 800,000 Tokul, 1 mil cash. I'm going to go ahead and claim a bunch of these viable points. Money is not going to be an issue for a long time. I'm currently taking advantage of last recall on all my Tokul and the gem shop and I am banking all the crafting XP that I'll ever need. My goal is to have enough for 82 so I can use the plus 8 boost to make a fury, which I can also afford with my Tokul. Alright, so apparently I can get one of the relics just by crafting, and I think I might have just gotten it right now. Please be the Imkindle's Dwarf. Apparently you can unlock that from this. Yes, Imkindle's Apprentice, that's what I meant. Now I can one tick craft, that's sick. Right, I'm happy to see this in action, let's go. One tick, 34,000 XP, let's go. The only downside is this is no longer AFK, which is okay. Alright, so apparently you can one tick craft these into tips as well, which is worth doing since I already take them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a hammer out and I'm going to take out these billion steel bars that I got from earlier. I'm going to one tick 
all of these steel bars into dart tips. Then I can just craft it for a ridiculous amount of fletching XP. And I'll just do this until I can craft the gems as well. All right, I've just hit 82 crafting. That's all I need to boost until I can make Fury. So I'm going to stop training crafting there. I'll do more crafting training when I have the uh, final relic and 16 times multiplier. 25 points for harvesting an ear at leaf. I didn't even know this was a task. I was legit just doing a farm run to train herb lore. All right, this should complete a task. The first time I have herbs in my bank. Clean a full inventory with um, degrime. 50 points. Make 30 prayer potions, 25 points, 10,600 total. All right, that's Smith 1000 Mithril Dart Tips for 25 points. I'm smithing all the bars that I got earlier, and it is a lot of XP. And that is 1000 Addy Dart Smith for a total of 50 points. And as you can see, I have a lot of Dart Tips. That's a lot of Fletching XP. I'll probably save it to a Herbie Boar. 1750 total level, 50 more League Points. Make a 4-dose potion, 25 points. I got that because I just got the Mixologist Relic. Earn some Slayer Points, 5 League Points. I'm just skipping uh, Task of Spiders right now. All I have to do is talk to this guy. Receive a task from Steve and Neve, 25 points. Oh my god, I see that. I see a Crystal Impling. Catch a Crystal Impling, 50 points. Okay, so I have a lot of Renown. I have 189, and I have thought it over, and I think the best thing to do would be to unlock the rest of my quests. It's not many points. Uh, if you add them all up, it's not that many, and it's way lower than it actually is added up because some will complete each other, and it wouldn't be that expensive. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and unlock every single quest that I can. Complete Death of Dorgashin and complete Fishing Contest. I can't believe I ordered Fishing Contest, but 30 League Points added. Okay, I have legitimately unlocked every single quest on this list. I can't even buy any more quests. And I still have 50 Renown, so that costs a total of 139 Renown. And I have a total of 241 quest points. And now I get to spend every single renown I have only on bosses. And I think I'll have way more renown than I can bother spending on it. So I think I'll be okay. Visit Most Less Harmless, 25 points. I got it while I was doing this clue. Visit Harmony Island, 25 points. Reach base level 50, 25 points. I'm pretty sure I just got my first construction fragment blank stretcher, which is really nice for what I'm doing right now. Right, I'm about to get 72 construction, which is like the highest construction level I need for like a bunch of tasks. I think if I have the plus 8 boost, which I do right now, I will be able to do literally like 300 points worth of construction tasks. Right, there should be a task, kill a black demon in a Scarnia. Kill a blue dragon in a Scarnia, 5 more points. And I'm probably going to stay here and get 6 dragon hide, just so I can make a full dragon hide set because it's a task to wear one. There's also one for red, and there's also one for black, and since I have high crafting, I can make all of those. Alright, so I've gotten my sets up a lot over the past day, but I'm still only 10,955 points. I've been at this point range for about like 15 hours, and there's a reason for that. I want to go ahead and try to get as big of a jump as I can at once. I think I've done enough to get 15,000 points prepped. I know exactly what I'm going to do, and I'm going to start doing it all right now. I'm going to start with wearing a full set of blue Dragonite armor, 25 points. Then wear a full set of Red Dragon Eye Armor, 25 more points. And then finish it off with a set of Black Dragon Eye Armor for 50 points. And that's a huge upgrade to my gear. I just sacrificed my Fire Cape, 125 points. Now I'm just buying all of the Cesar items and equipping them and getting points for wearing each single one of them. Let me go ahead and buy my Onyx for 260k, get another 125 points. Alright, so apparently smithing gem jewelry has a 20% chance to give twice the end product with 100% XP. So there's a chance I could get two furies from this. It's a 20% chance. Let's see if it happens. And... Never lucky. So I craft a onyx amulet of 125 points. Alright, so I just moved my house to preferences for 25 points. I can move it to a bunch of places as well. You nil, another 25. Let me see. Brimhaven? No, it doesn't give any points. Relica does though, 25 more points. And apparently Paul Novich does too. 25 more points. Holy fuck, that's a lot of points. Apparently you could boost to 80 to do this. Build an achievement gallery in your own house, and this should be a pretty decent amount of points. 50 points. I'm gonna go build a mahogany portal in my house, and this should be another decent amount of points. 25. Or I could build a stash unit, and this should be another task. 50 league points. Alright, this should finish the agility course, and I should get 25 points for completing a task. This is one of the quests I got unlocked when I unlocked every quest. Visit Port Phasmatus, 5 points. Alright, this should be a lap of the Werewolf agility course, 25 easy points. 
All right, this is some real easy points. I'm going to go ahead and wear this full set of rune armor. 25 points. And then I could go ahead and animate this and kill him for some more points. There we go. Let's see. 25 more points. 12,000 point milestone has been reached. Apparently it's a task to wear a willow shield. And fortunately I can just fletch one right here. 5 points. I have 372 Slayer points from earlier, and I'm going to go ahead and unlock Bigger and Batter because I want superiors, and another reason is there's a task for 25 points. I'm also going to go ahead and buy a Slayer Ring and use the Slayer Ring to tell you straight to the Tarn's Slayer. That way I can be myself, and I'm pretty sure it's also a task. All right, Tarn dead. I'm pretty sure I got a bunch of Slayer XP as well. 60,000 thanks to the boost. Not bad. More importantly, Tarn's Diary. I'm pretty sure this is a task. Let me go ahead and imbue this. And wear it. Yep. 25 points for equipping a salve amulet E. Equip a harpy bullseye lantern, 25 points. All I did was just buy this off that Slayer Master. I just needed the requirements to wield it, which I already had. Yes, the stew percentage is high enough. I've been carrying these stews for a while. 20 stews in the Hesidious Mess Hall, 25 points. Thank God. I almost forgot. I saved up some caskets. Let me open this. My first easy clue. My first medium clue. I actually got a unique from it as well. A wolf mask. Nothing useful. Dude, I'm just gaining points left and right, dude. Fill three hard collection lock slots, gain a unique item from beginner clue. Decent points. How many points did I just jump just by opening those, like, four caskets? Like, 12115. Well, dude, like, 120 points. What? All right, it's time to make a return to the gauntlet. I have high stats this time. Last time I came here with only mage, and it went pretty bad. This time, it's going to go very, very different. My relics are pretty strong as well. I have maxed out chain magic, maxed out double tap, and... 5% life steal, so I'm gonna be doing a good DPS and I'll have some life steal with it. Wait, activate the chivalry prayer, 25 points. I forgot I'd never even unlocked that yet. All right, I'm pretty sure that's in time. That was incredibly easy. How long? 4 minutes, 28 seconds. Completed in 8 minutes, 5 minutes. All these achievements. How many points in total? 225 points in total. That's crazy. All right, first corrupted gauntlet KC. What was my time? 7.02. Oh my god, the task is 7 minutes. I got 702. Oh, well, I'll just do it again. How many points did I get? 250 league points in total. That's ridiculous. Oh, shit. I just got the crystal armor seed. <laughs> That's funny. I don't think it's very useful right now, but I'll take it. I'm pretty sure that's sub 7. Yep, 653. Easy. How many points is that? 125 points. And I got a weapon seed as well. Nice. I can actually take this weapon seed and turn it into a crystal shield. And then I can wield that crystal shield. And that should be another task. How many points? 50 more points. 12, 9, 2, 5 now. Gotcha, Monkfish. 50 more points. 25 until 13k. Right, this should get me 30 prayer bonus. And that's 50 more points. All right. Obtain adamant ore from the blast mine. 50 points. Oh, Rune Ore as well, 125 points. Holy shit, I'll give a 175 total. Shop a Magic Tree at the Forsaken Tower, 50 points. Complete one farming contract, 25 points. Kill an experiment, 5 points. Harvest any herb on Troll Stronghold, 25 points. Alright, this one's a lot of points. Cast change spellbook. Bam. How many points is that? 125 points. I have all the way up to Addy Unlock just by my auto unlocks, and I can wear a Mitz Glove for 25 League Points. Okay, so I have 194 right now, and I have nothing to unlock but bosses. All my quests and skills are complete. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock some bosses, which I'm going to use to get more tasks completed. I'm going to unlock Zora for 50 points. While I'm at, I'm going to go ahead and grab Winter Todd as well. Alpha Queen has some nice points, so that is also being taken. The Giant Mole is pretty cheap, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that too for only 10 right now. I think that's all the unlocks for right this second. I'm going to go ahead and send a Zora kill for the points. I'm going to use the Arcade Spellbook to help me kill it and just camp range. All right, that's my Zora kill complete. How many points is that? 50 points. How many total? 13,505. Less than 1,500 to go. All right, that is a mole dead. How many points is that? 25 points. I will take that. All right, my Thrall did triple my damage, but that is a Callisto KC complete. And I also got a scroll box, which is really nice. Yeah, oh my god, I got the Dragon Two-Hander. Yes, already completed, and I got the DTH. Oh my god, that's so lucky. That's another task by itself. Equip a D2H in the wilderness. Equip the D2H sword. Another 100 points. What the fuck? That is actually the luckiest drop I could have ever asked for. All right, on to the next task. Pickpocket this guy until I got a diamond. 
There we go. Pickpocket a diamond from a Tazar. 125 points. Use the bank in the Lunar Isle. 25 points. I'm making a Catherby tab, and this should also give another 125 point task. Almost 14k. Mine some Runite Ore in the Wilderness. 125 points. This plus 8 boost is coming in really, really clutch right now. 14,155 points. Hand in the Lyrence Key. 25 points. I'm going to keep looting these just in case I get anything nice. 537 steel bars, 186 gold, or nothing too special, but still decent. Kill a wall beast, 25 more points. 50 points for killing a blood build in Tyranwin. All right, kill Karask in Tyranwin as well, 50 more points. Pretty much every single Slayer monster in here gives points as well. Kill a Cockatrice for 5 points. Kill a Pyre Fiend for another 5 points. Kill a Jelly for 25 points. Kill a Turoth for another 25 points. I'm literally going room per room and just farming these points, man. Kill a Kurosk, 25 more points. That's it for the Fermi Caves. Build a Waka Canoe, 25 points. Defeat a Vampire, uh, sorry, Vire Watch Sentinel for 25 points. I can't believe the points on this task when I saw it on the list. Pet Frank for 50 points. What the hell? Enter Soften, 25 points. I don't know why that didn't complete until just now, but I'll take it. All right, this should be a pretty nice one. Defeat a Dust Devil in the desert for 58 points. It's about a Slayer Staff. Use it on the Slayer Enchantment I got from Revs. And that should be another task when I equip it. 50 more points. Enter Mid Skilled, 50 points. Bro, this is ridiculous. My Thrall is so strong, it's praying Mage instead of what I'm hitting it with. Defeat a Demonic Gorilla for 50 points. 14715, less than 300 points remain. Currently, it's a task to equip a battle staff, and I made one earlier, 25 points. Get the Chaos Fanatic, 50 more points. Oh, sorry, it's only 25. 25 more points. All right, I just unlocked the KBD. Good thing I can unlock it outside the bank. I was scared I wouldn't be able to, but I can. I don't know if I'll be able to kill it. I don't have any peapots, and my food is limited, so YOLO. I also don't have anti fire. I'm literally trying to walk under. KBD and kite it and let my thrall kill it because I'm doing no damage and my thrall is fucking it up. No, I don't have enough pre points to summon another one. I just have to leave. I fucking suck. Oh my god, I ran out of P points for the thrall. Why didn't I bring prayer? Pretty sure the KBD is still low health, so if I just go back in there, I'll be able to kill it and beg and please be low health. Yes. Let's go. There we go. KBD complete. Easy peasy. How many points is that? 50 points. I will take it. Another task completed. Craft a Dragonstone Amulet. And this should be another task. Charge my glory. And that is 25 more points. Only 110 points remain. Kill a Basilisk Knight for 50 points. Only 60 left. Another task to complete here. Fletch a Willow Bow. 25 points. Let me one take this inventory real quick and get another task completion. 50 maple long bows, also 70 fletching. Just how many points? 10 away. So let's attach a Mithra Bolt to this. Mithra Grapple. And then Fletch. And there we go. 15,015 points. Tier 7 has finally been unlocked. So this is my high score page right now. I'm going to go ahead and log out on my account. And refresh the high scores. And you can see I jumped all the way from 60 to rank 10. 10th person with 15k points, 10th person to the 7th relic. Alright, I finally got my buffs to show. I had to change a setting that I didn't know about, so they're going to be here now. I just caught some dashing cabots. I'm going to go ahead and buy this body cape, equip it, and that is another 25 point task. I've avoided Fossil Island pretty much the entire league so far, and I'm finally going to go on to it and unlock all the tasks there. Travel to Fossil Island, 25 points. I can use my pendant on this thing. That unlocks the teleport straight to Fossil Island. And that is another task, I believe. Yep, 25 points. Alright, this is going to be a pretty painful fall. That's fine, because it lets me unlock the spirit tree. Or what it's, whatever it's called, the mushroom tree. Uh, I believe is a task in itself. Yep, but it's only 5 points. Build a bank on Fossil Island, 5 points. And there's also set up a U bird house for 25 points. I just pickpocketed a bullseye lantern from the cave goblin. If I light it, it's another task. 25 and 25. Steal a diamond from a Dorgish Khan chest. 50 points. Here's just got this completed. I'm going to go ahead and do this and get my rune crafting XP up. All right. I just drank from Tears of Gothics. 5 points. And I'm pretty sure my rune crafting level 
Got me another milestone. Reached base level 60, so 50 more points. Okay, so it is time for the next big grind. I'm going to be doing Herbivore. And the reason I'm doing Herbivore is because it gives a shit ton of Hunter XP. There's tasks for um, picking 100, 250 Herbivore. There's also a task for getting a Torf Soul, which is 125 points. And I could also Fletch while doing it. I have so many darts to Fletch. I can unlock so many tasks after I Fletch while doing these darts. And I also get a pretty high uh, Hunter level as well. Receive a Torstal drop from Herbivore, 125 points. I could jump a decent bit of ranks by doing some tasks, so I'm going to go ahead and knock some easy points out of the way and try to see where I can end up. I'm upgrading my Ivan Staff for 200,000 GP. And if I equip it, it should be a 25 point task. I'm going to go ahead and flush an MSB for 50 points, and then I get to equip it for another 50 points. Apparently it's a task to clean an Avento, and that is 25 points. Right, crossbow string, I made a runite crossbow unstrung with runite limbs earlier, 50 points, equip that for another 50 points, 15, 7, 10. All right, this should be yet another task, check this cactus and I get 50 points, I'll just use the icy basalt, 50 points, cook 100 raw sharks, 50 more points, one winter dot kill, 25 points, attack potion, 5 points, I already have 210 renown again after spending all those points earlier, so I could just keep unlocking more stuff, which is sick. I'm killing Kalfa Queen right now, it's literally just me flinging. My Thrall completely, absolutely destroys it, dude. It hits like 12s and shit, it's crazy and it does not miss. Alright, that is the Kalfa Queen com kill completed. 125 points, what? I didn't think it was that much, I thought it was a 25 point task or something, what the hell? Why is that so much? And that is where I'm gonna end it off for today. I went from being rank 60 to rank 5 in a matter of a few hours. Now that I have my final relic unlocked, I have no rush to get points immediately and I can focus on doing things that I want to do. I will be able to use all 7 relic slots together and I will also be able to utilize the 16 times experience rates for all skills. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and as always, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.